Hello. New members and old, Maine McKee here from Seminary Art, uh, soon to be Makersphere, and um, welcoming you to December. Uh, and this link should have been in a letter that also had a code for the building and a connection to the self scheduling calendar. And I'm on the run uh, this morning with the River Light Parade, so uh, please forgive me rushing you through. Uh, um, we're delighted that you've enrolled in December. Um, the, uh, we're doing four by four, maximum of four people uh, in the building at a time, and four hour blocks of time, eight to noon, noon to four, four to eight p.m. Um, even if you're not going to arrive until 10 o'clock, when you use that self-scheduling calendar, take any morning slot and you can arrive then anytime after eight o'clock and be cleared out um, by noon or have enrolled for the afternoon as well, which I have several folks coming at two, uh, 10 and staying until two. So they're just reserving two uh, blocks of time back to back completely fine. If we get jammed up with people, we'll let you know, please enroll a lot and set aside time for yourself. This is about uh, self-care as much as it's about anything else right now, right? Uh, so the self-scheduling calendar does has not been flawless. Uh, my personal cell, 7937182. Text me, identify yourself, and uh, we'll get you through the speed bumps on that so that um, that will work easily for you. Uh, yeah, four blocks of time. So there are 21 blocks of time over the week, lots and lots of times that you can come and we want you to come a lot and use the studio. Uh, because we're in, uh, we're in December in the gift giving, let me tell you that um, as, as soon as things are dry, we're going to fire them uh, and we're going to keep those kilns going. So it's possible, even though it's December, uh, that if you make something this coming week, uh, that we can get it through two firings without too much trouble. If you make things like thin things, like uh, rolled out ornaments and, um, you know, slab work that's on the thin side, uh, we might even be able to get it through two firings the following week before um, solstice Christmas. Okay, but this week is going to be the key week for that. So please get in there and have fun. Um, I need to remind you uh, if you're an ongoing member and let you know if you're a new member to us that there is a protocol, of course, for uh, coming and going. Come in with a mask on, please. Sign in the contact book that's in the front hallway. Just the date is enough. Um, and then come into the building and wash your hands with soap and water. Boom, don't worry about anything else in the world for um, the, all the time that you're in there, please. When you're done, clean up the way you would normally clean up. Uh, there are sponges, there are buckets, et cetera, et cetera. But after you're done with your regular cleanup, this is very, very important to keep us all safe. In the main room, you will see a checkout station and it has a prompting list. If you went to the bathroom, uh, disinfect uh, these three spots in the bathroom, right? The, the handle for the toilet, right? The handle for the, um, for the sink. If you use the slab roller, if you use the wheel, it's all there is a prompt with a bottle of um, disinfectant spray with essential oil and um, hydrogen peroxide and water. And go through and just spray on everything that it prompts you to, okay? Including as you leave. This is really important that we clean our way out. We're doing it for everybody else who might come in after us, right? And it's what we need to do to stay open. Okay, uh, so that's, that's the protocols that we're following. Plus, of course, I'm coming through and spraying and cleaning weekly as well. Uh, yeah, you don't have to just do clay. You have joined for a clay membership, yay. Uh, but come and read a book. Come and um, draw. Both rooms are open to you. Uh, they're messy. I'm still, we're still in transition in what was the children's room, but that doesn't, there are tables available there. You'll see notes on them. Pull up a chair, get out your markers, get out your knitting, whatever. This is your studio for the month of December. And it's so, so important for us to have a place to go that we feel good and that we feel safe. So please jump in. 
uh, yeah, and um, I'll probably make another video as we have more stuff to share. And I'm just going to prompt and say, I hope that you're going to go to the River Lights this weekend. Uh, it's incredible. And um, instead of caving in and um, thinking that we couldn't have this event that draws thousands of people uh, every year for the last uh, 10 years, we turned it into a drive through event. Uh, so in this river of light this year, you become the river uh, driving in your car. There are four sites, two of them in this valley. And uh, I think probably you've already received at least two uh, click-throughs uh, to be able to go and read the information about the event so that you could make a uh, decision as to whether it's a super thing for you to do or to spread that word, spread that link to, um, yeah, so magic. Bring your light if you've got one be part of the magic. And yeah, welcome, welcome to the studio in December. I hope to see you in there soon. Thanks.